Driving along Israel's southern highway, you can see them all around. Shacks, caravans, and other temporary structures housing around 100,000 Arab-Israeli Bedouin, although it's impossible to know the exact numbers. Various government plans to regulate these communities and provide adequate infrastructure have largely failed, including this community of Abu Tlul, officially recognized by the Israeli government some 15 years ago. Other than the paving of a road and three educational facilities, nothing has been added. We want recognition. You see the situation we live in. It demands change, a different approach. The NGO Regavim, co-founded in 2006 by head of the right-wing religious Zionist party, Betzalel Smotrich, takes Bedouin settlements without proper ownership claims to court and proposes a different settlement model. They say retroactive recognition of communities is a failed policy. When something is built without any planning, without any infrastructure, and then uh, you simply take a blue pencil and draw municipal lines around it, you have no place to put infrastructure and you can't create a road. You can't bring sewage lines in. You can't bring water lines in. Take into account uh, tribal affiliations, which are still extremely important in this community. Once you do that and you identify who can live with whom and where they should be living, it becomes much more easy to plan for them. And that's what we expect the government of Israel to do. Bir Hadaj is another example of a retroactively recognized community. Both here, Abu Tlul, and in other areas, many voted for the Islamic Ram Party, now in the governing coalition. People support the move by the Ram Party with the government. We know this government consists of people who see things more reasonably. There was a framework where each family would receive five dunams for living and agriculture. The state went back on it. If they offer us that original plan, we will accept. Saeed al Khoumi, born and raised in the Negev, was the one Ram lawmaker to abstain in the vote to form the new government because of his opposition to its plans for the Negev. The Bedouin population is growing at around 5% annually, one of the fastest growth rates in the world. A huge percent of the population is young and will need housing in the near future. Without significant change, this sprawling complex of makeshift camps will grow ever larger.